In this video, I'll provide an overview of our extra credit assignment, Labor Market Statistics. So in this class, you've been learning about different kinds of descriptive statistics, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to apply that learning to real world data, in this case, the labor market. California Occupational Guides provides detailed information about California wages, job outlook, education, and other requirements for a variety of occupations. So in this assignment, you'll be identifying an occupation you're interested in researching more about and looking at the stats behind it. Note, if you don't live in California, pick a county you're interested in that maybe you might want to move to to someday. Scrolling down. So you'll notice the bulleted items here are the step-by-step -step instructions, which I will demonstrate in just a moment. And then just below that are a series of questions that you'll answer based on um, your process. So the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and click on the labor market info link provided here, and it'll open up to a California.gov page. As you scroll down, there's some information here that you'll want to familiarize yourself with. So go ahead and click show all. And this will give you some information about ways to search in the occupational guides, um, some popular guides to take a look at, um, the kinds of information that's available in the guides, um, who uses the guides, and then um, some tips on exploring the guides. So check that out. But what we're going to be doing specifically is you'll want to go ahead and click on keyword search. Once the screen appears, go ahead and type in a keyword or job title you're interested in and click find. For this demo, I'm going to use the word procurement. Now you'll notice down below in the results box, there are several occupations and you'll just want to pick one to explore. So for instance, I'm going to click purchasing managers because that was the closest title to what my past corporate experience was. And when I was a college student exploring supply chain management and specifically procurement, I knew I wanted to get into a management role. So knowing this information would have been helpful when I was studying in undergrad. The next step is to go ahead and pick a county that you're interested in. So for instance, I knew I wanted to stay in San Diego. So as you scroll down, you can look up San Diego and then go ahead and click the view the guide button. A occupation profile will appear with lots of information. And some of the information that you'll want to check out is to look at the occupational wages. And it's going to show you specifically the county that you chose in this case, San Diego. There's the hourly mean, as well as the hourly wage by percentile. Um, you'll also want to click view wages for all areas. So this will let you compare um, different counties. So you can see on the new tab that appeared, I can look at San Diego County and I can compare it to other counties um, at the median hourly wage, as well as the median annual salary. You'll also want to take a look at the occupational projections. So this is the demand to see if this is a growing field. And for instance, in San Diego, for purchasing managers, um, currently about 820 positions are available and it's projected uh, by 2028 to be around 910. So I can see that's an increase. And when I look at the employment change, I can see the percentage here is an 11% increase. Again, you'll want to click on the view projections for all areas so that you can compare what's going on in different counties. So you can see in this table, the first row has all of California and then it breaks it down by county. So I can see San Diego County is right here. Scrolling down, you'll want to check out the industries employing this occupation. So you can see the kinds of industries um, as well as the number of employers in the county of your choice and what percentage that represents. This is a great list to let you understand the kinds of industries where your job exists and the potential employers that you could apply to. So when you click on this, it'll actually bring you to a list of all the employers in that industry. Scrolling down, one more thing I want you to check out is the top skills used in this job. Take a look at that. And of course, go ahead and click on the more skills for and the job title. In this case, purchasing managers for me. So what will appear is a detailed report on the occupation, and it's going to bring you straight to the skills table right here um, with some more information 
on the relevant skills for that occupation. You can also check out the rest of the detailed report on different abilities, values, job responsibilities uh, that you can familiarize yourself with and get to understand what the occupation entails. I also recommend downloading this document so you can print to PDF uh, or save the web page so that you have this information and you can always take a look at it again. But going back to the discussion board, um, when you're answering the questions, it's very similar to what I just demonstrated, right? Um, share with us what keyword you entered and the occupation title you ended up choosing and why. So for me, I chose procurement um, and as I mentioned, purchasing managers because that was what I previously did. But thinking back when I was in college, the reason why I was curious about procurement was because my older cousins majored in supply chain and mentioned it to me. So a family member introduced me to this uh, field. Um, and then here you'll go ahead and share some of these statistics from your occupation profile, the hourly mean, median, the projected demand and percent change, and pick two industry titles you're interested in and um, identify how many employers there are. Um, and I do have some example language for each of the questions here. But for instance, um, I looked at aerospace and medical equipment, which are actually two industries I ended up working in um, as a procurement manager. The remaining questions uh, from the detailed report, I want you to take a look at that more skills list and identify which skills you believe our business statistics course addresses and why. So I want you to make a connection between our course learning and the real world skills needed for the occupation you chose. The next question is share with us what surprised you most about the profile you read and the statistics presented. And the last question is what information was most useful that you wanna keep in mind and why? Now, while the assignment only has you looking at one occupational profile, I encourage you to use the tool and check out a variety of careers that you're curious about and save this resource because you can always check out jobs. Um, the next time you're in a different class or you're talking to someone and they suggest a potential career path for you and you want to know more about the statistics behind that, um, this is a great tool to use. So if you have any questions, just let me know.